This might look like a basketball. Trust me, the weight doesn't feel like a basketball. But inside this ball is a 350 watt motor, a battery, and an electric form of transportation. Pop these sides open. And we have something with one wheel that in theory you can ride. Now I say in theory because I've seen videos of people riding things like this, electric unicycles, at crazy speeds, doing crazy jumps, doing crazy things that I honestly never will do. And before Top Fuel reached out And before Top Fuel reached out to me with their new S9 basketball, I had never tried one of these. Now I admitted that when I accepted to do the review, but they thought that would be good to show the learning process. So these next few clips are me trying to learn how to use this and all of my failures, some small successes. I guess let's uh, take a look and then I'm gonna show you where I'm at with it today. Clip two of basketball, one, two, three. Unfortunately, I think due to an SD card error, we just lost some of my practice footage. Uh, fortunately, I don't think you missed much. Basically, I started with this thing on the training wheels and realized pretty quickly that uh, they're just really restrictive. So I'm gonna use the chair. So I found that if I use this, All right, that beep means it's ready to go. This can just kinda be there to help me. If I start to lose it, I can kinda grab this so I don't go all the way down. started. Oh, I got started. Oh, now that I'm up, I'm starting to get it. Oh, this is so hard, but it's going to be fun once I get it. Getting started is really, really hard. And uh, using a rolling chair has, I think, been the best thing I've tried so far. Now, for those that are thinking about getting a ugh, electric unicycle of any sort, I feel like I gotta say what the difficulty is like. And I have, as an adult in recent years, uh, learned to ride a skateboard. And I feel like that came fairly, where the, there's a clip to unlatch this thing. You can actually see the machine parts of the motor right there. That looks like some quality machining work in there. Uh, but I've learned to, to ride motorcycles, fly airplanes, fly remote controlled airplanes, drones, all sorts of stuff. And difficulty wise, this thing's gotta be near the top of the list. Now I don't want that to discourage you. I feel like if you got core strength, leg strength and balance, you probably could learn to ride one of these things in like 10, 15 minutes of practice, but definitely gonna take me a little bit longer. I think I can get it though. So my goal is to feel like I can control the thing really well with the chair, uh, control it at a basic level, not necessarily fast, but at least able to be able to like go in a circle out here. I would consider that a success. And then I feel like if I've, mastered this thing, that would be if I can get on it and get started uh, without using a chair or wall or something as assistance. And I got it once, so I know I can do it. Okay, is it easier to do it the other way? I don't think so. Then once I'm upright, it feels 
a lot easier, like I feel relaxed. <sighs> oh. Apparently the side pieces can pop off. <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. Oh, I feel bad for this little basketball. I'm beating it up. Oh, slow, gradual moves instead of moving fast. So I'm just going to focus on staying upright and just moving very slowly forward. Because if I can move this thing slowly, that would be great. I'm trying to put, shift my weight to the, that side a little bit, just to work it towards the camera. Whoa, I don't know why it beeped. I don't like that. I don't know what it's beeping at. This is, this is a success right here. I'm feeling really good about this. Okay, now, if I can turn back towards the chair this is what i'm gonna i'm telling you what i'm want to do i'm i'm trying to just take very slow movements forward and back and just stay upright there you go that looks, that looks great and uh trying to figure out how to turn still i'm getting there i'm gonna take a uh i'm gonna take like a five minute break and uh Give my legs a rest and come back. All right, while I regain my composure a little bit, let's talk about some of the specs on this thing. 350 watt motor, 500 watt peak is I think what it said. It doesn't seem like much, but uh, seems like plenty to me. It says it's an aluminum frame inside that, so it's not a chunk of plastic. And the machining that I can see uh, looks really well done, actually. Top speed is 9.32 miles an hour. I don't know how they got that exact speed, but 9.32. And says it can do slopes with up to 10%. That is really steep. Now, it feels like it's got a lot of torque, so uh, maybe it can. I highly doubt that I'm going to be comfortable enough to actually try and take this thing up a 10% slope. Uh, I am definitely not taking it down one. Any slope at all is a challenge for me at the moment. It weighs about 16 pounds, which really is impressive compared to, you know, electric bikes and potentially even, you know, some electric skateboards and things. That's kind of in the same category as that. But for something that can haul you around at close to 10 miles an hour, uh, that's pretty light and it's really about the size of a basketball too. They say it's a uh, 10 inches in size. I haven't bothered to grab an actual basketball and see if that's exactly the same, but from a distance, when it's closed up especially, it looks like a basketball, feels like a basketball. I don't think anyone would realize that this is a, an electric unicycle. I played a lot of basketball and so that definitely drew me to the design of it. Now if I get to the point where I can actually ride it enough to drain the battery, uh, it says that it has a rapid two to three hour charging time. And speaking of which, uh, I just was gonna say this is a positive, but I just found a downside to it, probably because my uh, ground area right here is dirty from some grinding I was just doing on a frame. But here's the charger. It is a, it's only actually one amp, but the battery is fairly small. The connector is pretty cool because it's magnetic. So you just kind of get it close to the charge port and it just snaps right into place. Uh, a downside I just learned from that is that it will pick up any metal shavings that are on your garage floor, but that's probably my fault. And finally price, what does something like this cost? Well, this is brand new and they are listing it on their website at topfield.com. It looks like it's gonna be on Amazon. Prices are the same everywhere. 
$469. If I have a, a special link for you, I'll make sure to put that in the description. But if you're willing to put in the effort to learn how to ride this thing, you can get a pretty cheap form of transportation. So on that note, let me get back on this thing and uh, see if I can make some more progress. Okay, okay. I think I'm making some progress with the turns. If I can turn and stand up, it's gonna be huge. All right, let's go a little further away. So I do not have the chair to rely on. Yeah, all the way, come on, all the way left. Yes, that was my first successful 360 degree turn. Let's talk about some of the uh, positives. On each side of this thing, you got this little flap right here, and uh, you got a nice handle there. So you can carry it just like this. It's a gallon of milk, like eight pounds or something. This is a 16, so it's like two gallons of milk in your hand. Uh, so here's uh, a couple of quality things. I don't know, don't really know how they fix this. And I can't, I can't entirely blame them for this either. This black stripe is actually like a, a separate piece of rubber. And I feel bad because I am so rough on this thing because I don't really know what I'm doing that I'm already starting to peel one of these things off on one side. And uh, you can see the opposite side is even worse. That's because every time I start to crash on this thing, uh, these sides are just rubbing on the ground. It's not gonna change the function of anything. It's just cosmetic, but I mean, part of the, the appeal of this thing is how it looks like a basketball. So that's gonna be a bummer if it comes totally off. The grip tape that's on here is, is peeling a little bit already. And it's just because there's not, if you look underneath there, it doesn't have like a flat surface to actually grab onto. So it does kind of like at a certain point where most of your foot is on, but the very edges, it's just like grabbing on a tiny little lip there. So the adhesive is popping off and it's, and it's happening on both sides. I don't know, I feel like they need a better way to secure the edges of the, uh, the grip tape right there. That's it as far as quality issues that I have found. You can change the lights. It's bright out, so it's gonna be pretty much impossible to see. But when you open this thing up, this is a string of LED lights right here. This is another one here. They probably have a better photo on their website that really shows it. But you can change the color of these LEDs to different things if you want. You can do that all through the app, which has a ton of stuff on it. You can, you know, adjust uh, the beeping warnings for various speeds so you know how fast you're going. The app for this is actually pretty nice. Now, I don't like apps that are required to use with something like this because what if the connection fails or if you don't have your phone? Uh, and the good thing about that is you don't need the app. The only thing you really need to operate this is uh, the charger to plug in right here and the on off button is right there. They said this was a great one for beginners just based on the size, the weight, the power, everything. I have absolutely nothing to compare to, so I have no idea if it would be easier to learn on another one, but I'm learning, I'm getting there. I feel like I can ride a bike and do a bike review, and make it look easy. I have decades of experience and I hope people are watching this because this is one of the hardest things I've had to film.
So what has several days of practice, at least one good fall, multiple stumbles, and really sore feet result in? Well, this. Yes. That may not look like much. In some ways that probably looks kind of pathetic. I can't really ride this thing. Not the way it is intended to be ridden. Uh, not yet anyway, but I am on a little bit of a deadline. I told them I would release the video with whatever footage I got at this point, however much progress I've made, uh, because they really want to get this product out there. So I think this video really deserves a follow-up. Now bear in mind, these results are not something that are gonna be uh, reflective of, of anybody who tries to get on this. Some people may be able to actually learn this in like 15, 20 minutes. I've had a lot of weird health problems I'm still trying to figure out. And one of the biggest problems is getting my balance and my strength back, both of which 100% you need to, to do this. So uh, if I had the balance, the strength, and the endurance that I used to, uh, I think this would have been a lot faster. So that is the S9 Basketball from Top Feel. I think it's a really cool product. I'm gonna keep trying my best. I'll put a link in the description where you can get one. I feel like sometimes you see all of the good things in the videos that I put out. You see all the positives. You don't always get to see the failures. So I wouldn't call this a, a total failure. If you're struggling with something, the best thing you can do sometimes is just give it a little more time and keep trying.